Hey guys, welcome back to my old tractor shed. The uh, cleaning and painting of parts continues over there behind the other camera. I'm um, getting caught up in the painting, so I thought, well, time to get some more parts taken off. Um, I want to take the brakes apart. I, I don't feel there's any issue with them, but uh, yeah, I'm this far in, I may as well take them apart. I'm thinking there must be some kind of a seal behind there. Um, I didn't see anything leaking, but eh, I take it apart. I don't really know how that thing works, so take it apart, see how it works. Um, I'm going to take off the brake levers, pedals, whatever, and uh, clean those all up and paint them as well, so jump in! <laughs> Cotter pen and then they have two two large washers on the outside. It's a bit more for me than for you, but I can all I I am obviously shooting videos for YouTube, but then I put still image, images on the computer out here, and then sometimes I take these video clips and keep them out here too. So the the two washers and the cotter pen that's for me, not for you. A little bit of uh, joy juice. I'll have to clean it up, but it uh, looks like a nice, possibly a brass bushing in there. Grease fitting, adjustment on there. This all looks good. It just needs a good cleaning and painting. Uh, this other one, I don't actually need to take this one off at the moment. This goes for the other side. Um, I may take the lever off the other side and possibly this whole shaft is going to come out. Not 100% sure actually. I think I'm going to leave that one until I get going on the other side. Just, hey, I'm going to take the other side apart. The other side's almost identical other than the fact that it's got a parking brake on the other side. So I may, may videotape that for you or I may not, but we'll see. Uh, ratchet. All the same length. I was just just double checking. Sometimes, sometimes you get throwing them in the pail, and then later on you realize that one's different. Um, some joy juice on here as well, and we'll see. It is free. I just gonna. It's obviously on. Uh, there's. A, I was looking down inside. There's some kind of a spline shaft that comes out. So I'm sure I'm gonna have to try and pull it evenly. Get another bar. I can see a couple dowel pins there as well. That's probably what's holding it. All right, I just had to take a little pause there and went and looked at the book, make sure I wasn't gonna break anything. Played with it a little bit. I was getting the top too far out and I was binding on this pivot shaft down at the bottom. Pushed it back in and give it a little tap and it, I think it's gonna come off there now. We'll see. <laughs> if not, I'll turn the camera off so I can curse and swear somewhere. 
it feels pretty free there now, yeah. It was, yeah, it was just, I was getting the top too far out, and it was binding on that pivot piece, that's all. And there we are, another seal. <laughs> I wonder if those other ones premature. Okay, let me put that on the table and we'll move the cameras and we'll tear this thing apart. All right, guys, we got the uh, right hand brake off the tractor and I'm just studying up the, the, the parts manual. I've said this before, I find the parts manuals a lot easier. Just, a, just an exploded view of the, the, what's in here. Um, I usually find it more helpful than uh, actual service manager, manuals. Uh, looks like this piece that's carrying the seal, the only thing that's holding it, I think, is this dowel pin. I can actually swing it from side to side. A couple, couple of uh, engineered pry bars. No, they're not screwdrivers. No, of course not. Might need some bigger ones. I've said this before, you shouldn't use a hammer with your screwdrivers. You shouldn't use a hammer on your pry bars either, but oh well. <laughs> Probably a gasket in here that I'm damaging. I'm going to be making a few gaskets. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I don't want to do that. I don't want to take... I don't want to get any oil on the... on the, the brake lining themselves. It's coming. We'll get it. Get that washed up and then I'll make a decision about the seal. Now, what have we got in here? Hmm. Oh. I think, I think before I go too far, I'm going to uh, wash my paws and go grab my uh, still camera and just grab a couple pictures as I'm taking. Well, I'll have that. Nah, I'm going to get some still images. <laughs> if I don't, I will uh, regret it later. All right, let's take this off. It's one of our discs. Appears to be quite a bit of lining. Not sure if it matters which way it goes. That's why I wanted to take a photograph. There's a bit of a, oh, maybe a quarter inch um, gap here between the metal spine and the upper part. And I thought, don't know what the other side looks like. It actually looks the same. I'm just going to put a center punch mark on there. You know, in my case, the way I work, sometimes it could be weeks, if not months, before I put this back together. So very often, I'll just take a center punch and I'll just make a tiny little, just a little reference mark here. It certainly isn't going to hurt anything. Um, but then, yeah, when I'm putting stuff back together, I am aware that it's there. And I'll take that off and put it the way it's going to go. Then this center piece, the center piece, uh, I'm going to have to zoom that camera in a bit more. This whole center piece, there's linkages here for what pulls the what pulls the brake. Looks like I'm going to take that. Actually, I can see that there's a head of a bolt here, and there's a nut there, so there's going to be a nut on the other side of that. I'm probably going to have to take that pin out to get that out of the way, and then I'll bet you this whole thing, this whole thing lifts out of here. I do have a couple springs. Springs always make me nervous. <laughs> You can't trust them. You just can't trust them. <laughs> uh, yeah, where's my garbage? Hmm. Quite a bit of uh, greasy dirt here. Just get rid of some of that.
That there is interesting. Curious to see what that is. Okay, we get a pair of side cutters. <laughs> I sat in that, that camera, I noticed my uh, ductwork here and somebody's gonna ask, just to save you asking. When I back my big tractor in here and I can actually put this over the exhaust and it goes up and up in the attic, I've got it connected to a, an old furnace fan just so I can start the tractor up and let it warm up before I take it out of here. Pretty handy, good for the tractor. Little washer, take the cotter pen off and then there's a washer. So I'm guessing, that gonna go together. Oh, I see, I see. Never do this. I was gonna drop that pin down into the bottom, which is fine to get it apart. But I'm always knocking something like that down at the bottom there and thinking, how am I supposed to put that back together? Hmm. Cross that road, or that, cross that bridge when we get to it, I guess. Oh no, see, now it's not gonna go all the way down. It doesn't go out the back, does it? No, it does not go out the back. So it falls out the bottom, that's fine. Oh, I see. So when, when you pull on, where's that camera? When you pull on these levers, uh, betcha we're gonna find there's a, I had my forklift apart one time and there was a series of balls in there. And when you would pull it, it would turn I suspect that's what's happening here. We'll take this apart a minute, and it pushes that apart. You know, one, one disc on the top and one disc on the bottom and everything gets pressed apart. Um, I'm going to, uh, no, I'm going to center punch. Put a center punch mark on there, out of the way. Just so I know what side's up. Uh, is there any difference here? Well, okay, yeah, yeah. We've got a nut there and we've got a bolt head there. I'm showing that camera. A little rusty. Okay. And then one more center punch mark here. This, I suspect, I have to look at the part numbers, I suspect this is exactly the same. Now this, oh I see, yeah, yeah. Probably got a Oh, I see. Just a, I bet you that was rubber at one time. It's gonna go and dump some. There's a whole bunch of grease and cuck. I'm gonna go dump that in the garbage. This is broken, so I'm sure I'm gonna be able to get it off this way. But I don't think it was supposed to come. Hmm. I'm sure that I'm sure that this was supposed to come off and then this could have come out the other way. Ah, dear. Hmm. All right, I am gonna stop these cameras for a few minutes and I'm gonna run over to the parts washer and other than the two discs themselves, I'll get the rest of this washed up, probably take that a little further apart and then we'll play with this a little bit more. So I'll bring you back in a minute. All right, I got everything all washed and cleaned up. Um, I'm gonna have to take some emery cloth and I'll sand all the metal surfaces, the breaking surfaces. Um, quite a bit of, quite a bit of, I'll show this camera. Quite a bit of rust there, but that's fine. That'll clean, clean up. I got the seal out. Uh, unfortunately, no numbers on this seal, but not the end of the world. It's actually a metal. Metal seal. It wasn't leaking. I, I could put it back in if I can't find one. I'll see if I can get a seal. I may have to measure it. I can measure the shaft and measure the outside. I don't have any numbers on it. There's a, a part number in the book, but of course it's a 
obsolete John Deere part. This little, I suspect it was rubber, but it, it could have been plastic. Um, 1967, well, if it was rubber, it's petrified. If it's plastic, it's dried out and broken. That's gonna be a challenge. Um, like I said early in an earlier video, engine parts were a piece of cake. Everything else is uh, quite a challenge. Anyway, I, I cleaned these up with some brake clean, sprayed it off. I'm going to clean that with emery cloth. And I, I marked, I think I put one center punch mark on one, and I put two on the other one, so know which one's in the bottom. And I, I put a few different center punch marks on this so I can see how this all go back together too, and took some pictures of it. So I think I'm going to take these springs off and... Uh, We'll see what's in here. <laughs> you might want to put your safety glasses on. Springs are fun. Actually, that one wasn't bad at all. Usually they go flying across the shop and then you can't find them. I suspect, yep, just some balls in here and they're on a, they got a little wee bit of a ramp that they can ride up on. Um, hopefully I can show that camera. You can see how egg-shaped, I guess that is. So as the, so these come, yeah. That in that view of that camera. So when these, when these two pull this way, this, this top piece, front, I'm just gonna rotate that clockwise, and you can see that it lifts it. And that, of course, then, there's a brake disc on each side, and that pushes it out up against the housing. And then, um, I would imagine the weight of the tractor, the weight of the tractor would probably want to, to rotate this. So, yeah, yeah you're, you, you apply the brake and that pushes this out a little bit and then the rotation of the wheels is gonna grab a hold of this and it would turn it to, to apply the brakes even harder, I would imagine. Very, very cool. Um, I don't think I'm going to need a lot in here. I'll clean that up a little wee bit. Um, I'll have to ask a couple buddies, possibly put a little dab of grease there. Hey guys, I was laying in bed awake last night and no the coffee had nothing to do with it. I got thinking about what I, when I was looking at this yesterday, I had thought that the, uh, you know, when you, when you pull the brake, this thing rotates and comes apart. I was thinking that, the momentum of the tractor and the weight of the wheels and these uh, discs rotating would assist that. But I realized it couldn't. When I was looking at the top one and it wants to rotate, uh, what is that, clockwise I guess, it wants to lift and I was thinking that when a pad was on here that that would help that. But then I realized the one on the other side is going to be counteracting that. So I come out here this morning and I'm having a closer look at it. I'm going to switch to that camera there. There's two shoulders here. And I've got a disc down in there. When you put this, when you put this down in here, I'll rotate that and pick this up. This top one, there's a, a shoulder right there. So if you were in reverse and you applied the brake, that's going to be hitting. And the one that's down underneath, can't see it maybe as well, it's down in there. If this is rotating, I think that's clockwise, it's going to come up and it's going to hit there. So, yeah, I guess I was wrong. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but yeah, no, that, that won't, uh, that isn't going to happen. And that makes sense. You can't, it, the whole thing would ro rotate and it would end up breaking off this little arm. So it had to have something, something stop up against. The other thing I realized is yesterday when I was taking that pin out of there and the pin had to go down and I was trying to figure out how I'm going to put that back together. I took the rest of the mechanism apart yesterday, freed it up, cleaned it. I've got to paint it yet, of course. This is going to be able to attach to those two little... Go back to that camera. This is going to go back on here and put that pin in. And then this whole assembly is without... I'll take off all that junk. It's just going to be the rod. And it'll, it'll all go through there. So anyway, not a big deal. A little bit more cleaning to do than this, and then paint it, and then uh, get that seal and put this back together. But I think that I'll add this to, the, to uh, yesterday's video. Today I gotta go over and tear the left hand side apart. So stay tuned, that'll be the next video. Ciao! I think that's it, guys. Um, not quite coffee time, but eh, coffee time whenever I go in the house. 
I think I'll get the other side apart either later today or tomorrow. I may or may not bring you back for that. The linkages are a little different, but this, this is probably all identical. So anyway, I think we'll leave it here. Uh, if you enjoy hanging out in the shop, if you haven't done it already, consider subscribing, click the little bell, that way you know when I put up another video. If you'd like to help me and my little channel out, consider sharing it with some of your friends that might be interested in hanging out in the shop with me. Um, click like, and of course, leave some kind of a little comment. Doesn't matter what you leave. Uh, apparently that all helps with the YouTube algorithm. So, thanks for hanging out with me. Appreciate your time. You guys take care. We'll talk to you next time in my old tractor shed. See ya.